Hello everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Daggerfall. Last time, we got some interesting information. Turns out that letter the king sent wasn't a love letter, but it was about something called the Numidium, I think? Anyway, this is controlled by something called the Totem. And the Totem has been, uh, sort of lost, but we found out that it's here in Castle Daggerfall. And in a, so the reason why uh, the king was murdered... Uh, there's a big conspiracy going on in this whole area, but we are about to get that thing, and hopefully uh, everything will be alright. But yeah, there was a, a lot of information in the last episode. Anyway, we now need to go uh, to the depths of uh, this castle. And I believe to do that, we need to go through here. So, let's uh, open this thing up. Am I going to be attacked? I don't know. I think they want to come after me, but I can't get through the door, so that's okay. Alright. Why are there are orcs down here? I don't know. Alright. Why are you even getting gold? It's just a habit, but I don't really need this stuff anymore. Okay. Also kind of weird why all these castles have uh, scary dungeons. Alright. I think I've been here before, haven't I? I like, just for a bit. Alright. So let's see. I believe I want to go up there. Can I uh, rest a bit? Can I cast Levitate? Okay, I did have enough for that. Now I hope that's where I want to go. Just die, please. There we go. Okay. Um, I believe we want to go through here. Hopefully, the instructions are right for once. Alright, I can go right or left. Okay, I should be going the right way so far. Why didn't I get a backstab? Come on. Yeah, this place, I believe, is pretty big, but, uh... Well, it's not that as big as one that's complicated. See how, like, it has, like, all these different levels and stuff on it? Yeah, that's, uh... But that was, that's alright. There's another orc in here. Ah! We got me some magic back. Okay. Oh, we are in the right place. All right. This is where we want to be. But it's well guarded because this is the treasure room. Remember, that's where it was said it was being held. Kill you. Kill you. Okay, come on. Please die. Please die. There we go. Jeez, these guys take so many hits to kill. Alright, so we want to head downwards, and I still have float enabled. Whoops. Alright. Alright, here's gonna come kind of the hard part pretty soon. Because we have to go through water. What the? Um, okay. I was, like, caught on something. Oh. Ow. Okay, I'm paralyzed. Let's, uh, heal. Heal. I don't have enough spell points. But I can do that. I can do that. There we go. Okay. 
Oof, lots of bad guys here. Alright, so we need to go into that water, so I'm gonna save first. Alright, into the water we go. Got the slaughterfish. Let's see, I'm looking for... Ah, a door. Actually, I think I want to go through here first. Look for a door should be in the right. Take the left opening, follow that underwater, and enter the room. Okay. Whoa, what are you? Atronach. Okay, well, Ice Atronachs can survive around here. So we want to uh, turn that. Alright, back out of here. Now I want to go through the door. And uh, if everything goes well, this should actually be a pretty short episode. Alright, and there doesn't seem to be anything in here, but if we click here... Haha! -ha, we are above this thing. Okay, so I want to save here real quick. And I don't have... L I don't think I can use levitate right now, can I? Nope. So let's see if I can jump this. I cannot. Ooh, I actually made it. And there's an archer somewhere. So I now need to pull this lever. But unfortunately, I will still need to levitate because that opens uh, one of those barred off blue places and I cannot get inside without levitate, I don't think. Ow. Um. Yeah, there's like all these different treasure things and you might be able to open more of them, but... So yeah, let's see, it's gonna be higher up. So let's see which one it opened. Ah. Aha. Ooh, I got uh, magic from that. All right. All right. Oh, there's two of them. Um, I think that's it right there. So let's levitate. Whoa, that is creepy. What is that? You're carrying too much to lift this. Hmm. Oh, whoops. Anyway, let's see what treasure is right here. Ooh, books. So uh, let me get rid of some stuff. Okay, now can I... Keep pressing the wrong. Yeah, it's like a small old lady and wrapped in a thing. Still too much. Okay, let's drop something else. Okay, how heavy is this thing? My goodness. Um, don't want to give her those books. I'm going to use those later. Let's just get rid of that. That healing, I want to keep that. Let's remove that. Don't want to get rid of that again. Uh, remove that. I want to keep that. There we go. We now have the totem. Let's uh. worth look how much that is worth 100,000 gold yeah this is pr worth a lot more than that I can tell you that much can we use it? let me save and use it hmm nothing oh well uh, well now I have it let's uh, get out of here 
Oh, here we go. A voice in your head intones. You are Veldin. You are my new host. Know this now and resolutely. You are not worthy to carry the totem of Tyrus Septim. Only those of his bloodline may carry me. I will give you a year and a day to accomplish this. Those of his bloodline. Hmm. And, uh... Yeah, he says a year and a day, so you have plenty of time, but if you don't do it in that uh, amount of time, he actually just disappears from your inventory. Now, something interesting is going to happen. And I'm pretty sure I know who I'm going to give it to. And whoever you give it to, uh, you don't get any sort of special different ending. And we're still not done with this yet, but, uh... Each one will, like, offer you a different reward and a ton of reputation. But there's only uh, certain people you can give this to. So now I'm, uh, I'm gonna see who will convince me to give it to them. What the? And I'm being attacked. Are you attacking me? Hand over the totem, we'll slaughter you where you stand. Well, are you going to give it to us or make us take it from you? Coward, now get lost. Oh yeah, I was told you should go see Nalful... It should be Nulfaga, not Nalfulga. I guess they, they did it wrong on purpose. An unmistakable voice of Nulfaga speaks softly in your head. I see that the totem has found its way into the hands of someone with royal blood. I think it's time you paid me another visit here in Shadungeon, Felden. Uh, work is not yet done. What, did I? I didn't... What? Wait, do I still have it? They didn't take it. They took it! I didn't want to give it to you! Wait a minute, that shouldn't have happened. <laughs> And, uh, you don't seem to care, but, uh... Yeah, I'm not sure I wanted it to go like that, because... Well, we do need to see Nulfaga after giving the totem to somebody, but I want to, like, choose who I give it to. Huh. Let me get back to you, because there should be a lot more to that. Oh, here we go. A heavily cloaked figure shuffles toward you as you prepare to defend yourself. A gnarled green hand shoots forth with a letter. Stunned, you do nothing as the figure shuffles away. Okay, so we're still getting these. Veldin, you are not orcish. How could you possibly understand what it is like? My people are treated like barbarians, slaughtered upon sight. It is so unusual that we respond in kind. Violence begets violence. I aspire to raise my race from the mire. I will bring them to equal standing with the other races of Tamriel. To do this, I must have the totem of Tyre Septum. I will not insult you by promises that no blood will be shed. I do swear by my crown and by my heirs, I shall not attempt to hold sway beyond the borders of Orsinium. My goal is not to conquer Tamriel, but to create the Orcish homeland. I am in possession of an artifact that I am sure you would want to possess. It is yours if you but give me the totem of Tyre Septum. Hmm. Alright, so Gortwag has the blood of Tyre Septum. That's interesting. But uh, I don't want to give it to him. A letter flows through the air towards you. Strangely, nobody else seems to notice it. The letter tucks itself into your pack. Veldin, centuries ago, Tyrus Septim ruled the land and forged an empire with great Numidium. The secret Numidium's power lies in its heart, carried within the mantella. It is the heart of Tyrus Septim's battle mage. It is my heart. It is my mantella. It is my totem. It belongs to me and to none other. I have won and lost an empire. I have no desire to tamper further with mortal affairs. I have in my possession Necromancer's Amulet, one of the world's greatest artifacts. You may have it in exchange for the totem. The most loyal agent will await your arrival in Singcroft at Daggerfall, at the Temple of Kinnereth, Underking. Have we ever even seen Underking before? I don't know if you ever actually see this guy. Kill a Belgian before too much is learned by use any means W. Huh. Who is W? Let's see, I believe... I actually don't know. I'm trying to think. I don't know who W is. Hmm, well, let's, uh... See what else there is. A portly man bearing the standard of Wayrest approaches you with a letter. His somber expression never changes, and he speaks not a word. He leaves as silently as he arrived. Noble Veldon, my ears have 
picked up rumors that you are searching for the Totem of Tyra Septum. I too have hunted for this wondrous artifact for many years. Should you find it, I would pay you a healthy ransom enough to buy your own ship. I will match or exceed any price that Gothrid or Akarithi might offer. Never forget your real friends. King Aidwire Wayrest. Now you can give this thing to whoever you want, but don't give it to this guy. He, uh, once you give it to him, he will renege on his promise and try to kill you. So, uh, just letting you know. But who else wants this thing? A page dressed as in the library of Sentinel hands you a letter and silently walks away. Alright. Nolan, you are on a quest to retrieve the totem of Tyra Septum. Do not deny it. My spies have confirmed this. The totem is not for commoners and you cannot use it. Bring the totem to me and I will pay you a hundred thousand gold pieces. It is a king's ransom by any measure. You should be warned, neither Wayrest nor Daggerfall are loyal to the throne. I am the only regent of the Iliac Bay that can be trusted. The others will only use it to destroy me. Akarithi, Queen of Sentinel. Honestly, I don't think I can trust anybody, but uh, who else wants this thing, by the way? A hand grips your wrist from behind. Spitting, you open your mouth to shout for the guards. A skeletal hand stuffs the letter into your mouth. The heavily roped skeleton releases your wrist and turns away, unnoticed by other passerby. <laughs> first time I uh, got this message when I first played this game, I laughed so hard. This is my favorite part of the game, I think. Just uh, picturing this scene. <laughs> Just shoves it into your mouth and walks away. Oh boy, that's the one I was waiting for. Velden, you will soon have the Totem of Tyra Septum in your hands. It is foreseen in the stars, and I have read them. Know, know you this, all of mortal stature are filled with pride and greed. To give the Totem to any of them is to let loose mortal vanity upon this world. They will destroy the very thing they co covet. I have no earthly desires, I have no mortal pride, no petty greed. Only one such as I can wield the Totem safely. For I would take it into the Aetherius and leave it behind this earthly shell. So long as the Totem exists, it is a danger to all on Tamriel. Bring me the totem and I will safeguard the world. I will not offer you gold or gems, I will offer you what I, only I can give. Fame, and your reputation throughout Tamriel was sore. Lord of the Necromancers, King of Worms. That's not bad, he's actually got a pretty good proposition for me. Anyone else? Um, I actually think that's uh, about it. So, uh, hmm. Who should I give this thing to? You know what, I think I've decided who I want to give it to, and, um, I do have a good reason for this. In my mind, this is going to be headcanon right now, but, uh, it will make sense. Okay, so here I am in front of Gortwog. I'm going to give it to him. Hear me out on this. Now, my other choice was, of course, the King of Worms, because he would have gotten rid of the totem, and that probably would have been best. However... As we've seen in the dialogue of this game, we've seen the backstory that the orcs have really gotten the short end of the stick throughout the Tamriel's history. They've been mistreated. They there was that one time where uh, the kingdom's army killed the women and children of an orc settlement. They've been just completely screwed over. So I think he deserves it. Also, talking about head cannon. Remember, in later games, the orcs then start becoming of equal standing with all the other races of Tamriel. What if that's because they were the ones that got the totem and thus were able to earn the uh, respect that they deserve as any other sentient being in this area? Just my thought. Uh, if you have any other thoughts, let me know. But, uh, well, we'll see. I'm not sure how trustworthy he is, but he does seem to just want the best for his people and want peace. A nation of orcs is within my grasp. You have given my people a chance at freedom, Belden. Should you ever recover the mantilla itself, I shall reward you thrice over it. So I believe uh, the mantilla is the heart of the uh, Numidium, and it doesn't work without it. So, if we look... Yeah, we don't have uh, the uh, totem anymore, so I gave it to Gortwog. Now that that's there, where is the Mantellum? What does Nulfaga want with us? Well, you're just going to have to find out in the finale of Let's Play Daggerfall. Thank you for watching, and have a good day.